Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Welcome back to the Crafting Brothers. It's a brand new year for us. We're very excited. Lots of things to show you. I got a bunch of things over the holidays that I'm going to show you starting with today. You're going to see it right now. But before we get into that, I want to answer a question that's kind of been on everybody's mind lately, which is, where has Frankie D been? Have you ever been Okay, to be perfectly honest, I shot that a while ago before I saw Frankie's last video, so I kind of feel bad. Not so much. <laughs> All right, so over the holidays, I got this box for Christmas that was under my uh, tree. They are Pathfinder miniatures, and I got a whole brick of them, and I'm dying to open them. I've never bought Pathfinder miniatures before, but I know they go both ways, so you can translate. So let's uh, crack these bad boys open and see what we get. Very excited. These are all pre-painted, and I am all about the pre-painted miniatures. You guys know me, I love cheap miniatures that are like only a buck or, or, or right around there. But uh, if you're going to buy miniatures and you're going to pay a premium price, I'm not a big fan of premium priced unpainted miniatures. So if you're going to pay a premium price, definitely get the pre-painted stuff. All right, right out of the gate, we're looking at... Ooh, this is really neat. It's a Swamp Naga. Wow. Look at that. Look at that head. I have a Naga that I used for the um, the campaign, whenever I'm doing these videos, I always forget names. I just did the campaign, uh, what's it called, uh, I don't remember, an old school campaign from the 80s that I ran way back when. And I had a giant Naga that I had purchased. Uh, this is neat though, this could be definitely in the same category. The other one was bigger, but I could use this because I'm always encountering Nagas. So that's a good one right out of the gate, I like it. I have a feeling I'm going to like all of these miniatures because I probably don't have a lot of these. Of course, I just pulled one that I do have some of, but I don't have this exact one. This, ooh, this is actually called a Web Lurker. I thought it was a, one of those spider things. I, I don't remember what they're called, but uh, that's actually a neat little miniature. Look at that. So that can be used definitely with giant spiders, and this could be like the spider boss leading the spiders around, so that's kind of neat. What else we got in this box? We got ourselves, look at that, a gargoyle. And a neat looking gargoyle too. I actually have a few gargoyles that I have in the past. This one's neat. Good sculpt, nice little pose. Decent paint job. I actually do. I'm one of the few, I think, <laughs> from what I can tell, that really like these these pre-painted miniatures uh, from Pathfinder and from uh, Nolgers. A lot of people ragging them, but I think they're great. If we're going to spend the money... Get pre-painted, because painting is a is a time-consuming process. Now, what is this? This is a swarm of army ants. Ooh, okay, nice. Swarm of army ants. Look at that. Kind of neat. Never encountered a swarm of army ants, but I think I can uh, figure out what to use them for. So, let's see here. And you know what I think I'm going to do, because everyone always gets annoyed when you're actually sitting here literally opening boxes on camera. So I'm going to open all these boxes right now. I'm just going to unseal them, and then all I have to do is pull them out. So, all right, we're back. So, going back to this army ant, I wanted to just say, this is one of those miniatures that they make, and I'm kind of upset when they do this. They make these miniatures, and they're neat, and they're cool, and they've got little details in there. But it seems like you can make this really easily. You could just maybe put a pile of rice or a pile of something down there and paint it up and this is one of those ones you could really make easily so whatever they put out what they put out all right here we go the big one in the set is going to be ooh that's a neat miniature look at that that's a large spriggan uh don't have a spriggan and that can be used as all kinds of things that can actually be used as a hill giant or some sort of giant as well 
Um, I actually, my last campaign, had a giant hurling rocks, a, a, a bunch of giants hurling rocks into a castle. And <laughs> this is a giant hurling rocks uh, compared to like, you know, a smaller miniature. So that's a medium to large size miniature. Okay, this one we got, ooh, neat little miniature. This is a, ooh, this is an NPC, uh, Elf Inquisitor named Jethal. Elf Inquisitor. So that's a neat little, uh, again, I don't play Pathfinder, so I don't know all the all the names of the PCs, probably uh, for a particular campaign. But I can use that definitely as an elf. I like that. Very nice little sculpt. A miniature. Okay. Come on, get out of the bag. There we go. Okay, this one is a Spriggan. Now, look at that. I got the large Spriggan, and I got the baby Spriggan, <laughs> so uh, that's actually kind of neat. I didn't know uh, they came in different sizes, because I don't know who they are, what they are, but that's actually kind of neat. Um, you can even make a make it so he's like a boss, and he travels around with a little little minion, minion Spriggan. So that's kind of neat. All right. So far, so far I'm liking what I got, and now, uh, what is this? doesn't have a base, but it is a... Did I, well, it didn't come with a base. I kind of I think I got ripped off on this one, but I think it's like another gargoyle type. Doesn't look like the exact same thing, but it's definitely another gargoyle. So anyway, I can put a base on there. There's no no need to uh, get that upset. But there you have it, another gargoyle. All right, Let's crack another bad boy open. All right, out of the gate on this one is. Look at that, a saber-toothed tiger, a Smilodon. Smilodon, looks like a saber-toothed tiger. Need sculpt, got a little hair in there. All right, I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, moving on, we got Duomer Cat, a Duomer Cat. Look at that. I'm noticing that a lot of these Pathfinder miniatures are actually smaller size. They come with a... Smaller bases, smaller size. I don't even know if this is an official one-inch base. That's probably a smaller base. But anyway, neat little paint. I'm not thrilled with the paint job, actually. Um, but neat little sculpt, a nice cat. Can always have use for different cats and, and wolves and things. So definitely we'll get some use out of it. Okay, and looks like a... No, ooh, what is that? That is a monitor lizard. Nice. That is neat. I can use that for all kinds of things. I'm always encountering. It can even be used as a dragon uh, wormling or something like that. Uh, but anyway, nice little reptile that I, I'll get some use out of. Okay, so the next one. These are so small to get out of the, of the thing. I noticed a lot of these are little tiny, little tiny things. And here we go. Okay, this is a halfling bard named Lindsay. L-I-N-Z-I. And, uh... I'm always in need of halflings, so I don't mind getting this little tiny miniature. But these are actually tiny, tiny miniatures. Very tiny. Okay, let's crack another box. Of let's see what All right. I got... Another small one. What is it, another halfling? It's a gnome alchemist named Jubilost. A gnome alchemist. So, you know, I don't have too many gnomes or halflings as player characters. So it's actually nice to get a couple of them. Because people, uh, I have a couple of people in my campaign that just played a gnome. So what is this supposed to be? I don't know. It doesn't come with a base. So that's supposed to be a blob of something. I don't know what that is. It's a blob of something. And it came alongside this giant frog. That's actually a decent little miniature, giant frog. Um, but I don't know what that is. It's a swarm of something. Maybe some worms or a swarm of something. If anybody knows what that is, uh, please comment down below and let me know because I have no idea what that is. And the big one in this set is... That's a good looking... A hill giant. It's a good looking miniature. Always in need of little... Uh, not little. I always in need of giants. So... That's a good sculpt, a nice little paint job. And there you go. Like I said before, if you're going to pay the money for uh, miniatures, uh, might as well get them pre-painted because the 
unpainted ones, although they look really cool, and just end up sitting on your shelf for years and years and years and never get painted. At least that's what happens to me. I'll have to show you sometime all the unpainted miniatures that I have. All right, another player character. This is a Shadow Rogue. And that's a good little miniature. That is a great little miniature. For a rogue, okay. What else did I get? I got a... Oh, look at that. This is a were... A were tiger. Wow, you know, it, it's interesting because if you guys remember, my daughter painted up a were tiger. Or something similar in a previous video. I'm going to do a shot right now. I'm going to put it right there. Of a... Side by side comparison between this one and the one my daughter painted up. Um, so I'll put that right there. All right. Let's see. What else we got? We got a lot of small miniatures. We got a Spriggan, another Spriggan. So now I have my Spriggan with his two little minions sitting on the base. My Spriggan with his two little minions sitting on the base. I can actually use that for, I don't know if I'll call it a Spriggan, if that's even a thing, but uh, maybe I'll use it for something else. Now here's a nice miniature. Look at that. Ooh, I'm liking this one. This one is a Soul, Gor Soul Gorger. Soul Gorger. Yes, look at that. Look at the face and the paint job. I like that. The sculpt. The sculpt is great. So that one's definitely getting some use on my table. That is a nice little miniature. I like it. Well, let's keep going. I got three more boxes here. Okay. Another nice. This is kind of like a samurai. Wow. Another nice miniature. This is own an oni mage. Okay. Got a little major effect on his hand. I like that. This actually reminds me of the uh, ones I just reviewed. The, uh, what do you call them? The Warcraft miniatures. This reminds me of a Warcraft miniature. It's the same scale as one of those. And it uh, actually has a nice sculpt and paint job to it. So, large character. I don't know Onis. I don't know how big they are. Uh, but maybe it's a, that's actually a pretty big miniature. Okay. Let's keep going on these little tiny... Well, tiny guys. I think I just broke this one inside the bag. I think I heard it snap. Yep, a little piece came out. And I broke it. Whoa, no. What, oh, it's a bat. This is a, a swarm of bats. A bat swarm. Okay, so really nice sculpt. I like this. Where did this one come from? I'll have to look up the miniature and find out. Oh, look, maybe it came from the top right there. Maybe it was sitting on top. I don't know. I'm not sure where this extra... Unless it comes with an extra bat. I kind of heard a snap though. So We'll see. Anyway, nice little miniature. I'll have to glue that one on later and see or do a little reference and see where that where that little extra bat is supposed to go. Got to be careful these little bags. Okay. Now we got an elf ghost. Elf ghost. That is a neat miniature. It doesn't even need to be used as a ghost. There's nothing really ghostly about it except for it's green. Yeah, that's weird. Could just be a, a greenish elf. I don't know. Could be of a certain clan that has green skin. I don't know. Or it could be used as a ghost. Maybe your ghosts are green in your world. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you have green ghosts in your world or green elves in your world. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. A oh, another uh, another one of those cats. Another one of those cats. Now I have two of them. I hate getting doubles. I don't like getting doubles in a set uh, in a brick set unless they're doubles of things that you would use all the time, and that's probably not one of them that I would use all the time. So, oh well, those other ones I might use, but not the cat. Okay. And I got another duplicate out of the gate. I got another large Spriggan. So now I have two large Spriggans and two miniature Spriggans. So I am not sure what I'm going to do with these. Because uh, I can definitely use them as giants or something else. But I don't need two of each. I really don't. 
So, eh, whatever. You know, it is what it is. It's always a crapshoot when you buy these sets. You never know what, what you're going to get. I like getting things, doubles of things I would totally use. So, here we go. This one is a Armong the Twice Born. Armag the Twice Born. Whatever that means in Pathfinder, don't know. But uh, it's a neat little little miniature sculpt. It could be used as a barbarian, even, or uh, or just a old humanoid character. Nice sculpt though. Nice paint job. I like it. He'll get some use. Now we have uh, the Were Were Rat Archer. A Were Rat Archer. Really neat little miniature. This is gonna be ones that this is gonna be one of those ones that maybe goes on my shelf and sits there forever, looking cool, but I never get any use because I don't have any were rats. I don't even know a scenario where you would encounter a were rat. So um, haven't encountered one before. Haven't used them in my game, but I have one now. Woohoo! All right. Okay, the last one in this set. This box and one more box. This one, ooh, that's kind of neat. This one is a Stolen Lands Bandit. So this can be used as a bandit of any kind. Um, you're always in need, in need of different townsfolk or uh, or uh, just random people that have joined a cult. Cultists, they call them. So that can be definitely used as one of those. So I will get some use out of that one. All right, last box. Last but not least. Let's see what we get. Thank you guys for sticking it out to the end. And it looks like I... Oh, I got a nice one at the end. One of the ones I was actually hoping to get. I'm going to have to select, cut this one open or slice it. This is a neat one. One of the ones I saw on the package that I was hoping to get. Here we go. There we go. That is neat. That is a manticore. And I have... All kinds of manticores. Not all kinds, but I got uh, two different types of manticores already. This one is easily two or three times or more the size of my other manticores. Let me do a size comparison. I'll put, put it down there real fast. I'll put a size comparison. This next to my other manticores. Um, but that is a neat that is a neat sculpt. I didn't realize it was that big when I saw it in the box. But that is definitely... Alright, well that was fun. Uh, first mistake of the year, my camera ran out of batteries. So, uh, I think I was right in the middle of showing you guys this Manticore, which uh, is really neat. It's large, but it's really neat. So let's move on. I only have three more. I was so close to being done. So close. Okay. Uh, this one is a River Kingdoms Ruffian. Uh, just looks like a general person from a bar who's going on an adventure. So that can definitely be used for all kinds of stuff. And then we have um, a werewolf. I actually have a, ma a mage knight. I actually have a mage knight werewolf. Let's see what the comparison looks like between this and the mage knight. Of course, the mage knight's only 50 cents compared to this one, which is $3. So um, last, last but not least, here we go. Last one in the set. Ooh, this one's neat. This is actually a really neat little armature. Look at that. It's called uh, Renegar Half Orc Magnus. It's a neat little miniature. Look at that. Definitely a magic user of some time. Maybe a mage, something. So, uh, it's a neat miniature. All right, I'm going to do a shot of the whole collection together and, uh, Stay tuned, you guys, because I got some neat things, more things that I got from uh, for Christmas that I'm dying to share with you guys, plus a couple of cheat miniatures coming up. So stay tuned. We'll see you next time with another cool video. Thanks.